Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a feature review. So for those of you who use Google Fit, this review will be a welcome addition to a recent up app update. For those of you who want to have a step counter or use your smartphone as a step counter, um, this handy Android widget will definitely be a welcome update. Um, so what you'll do is from the Google Play Store, you'll install an app called Google Fit. What this app does is um, a lot, it basically counts the number amount of time you spend exercising, whether uh, walking, running, biking, things like that. Um, it'll also count the number of steps you take. So whether you're walking or running, it will know the difference and help you keep track and manage that that part of your fitness. Um, so what you'll do is after installing the app, you'll sign in, get to, through them to the main screen and you'll set up a goal for yourself. You can set up multiple goals if you want. So if you have multiple different or if you want to, for example, keep a special track of some your walking or your steps, or you want to see um, different um, kinds of goals or in different ways like steps versus time, you can create multiple goals to do the same thing. So in this case, what I'm going to do or what I want to do is create a widget that tells me how many steps I've taken in the day. So the first thing I'll do after I open the app is I'll hit the plus sign and then I'll hit, hit add goal. And in this case, I want a goal to take um, the normal amount of steps in a day is 10,000 steps. So I'll select take 10,000 steps, but you can select a different amount. So whether you want 8,000, 12,000, or a customized number, you can um, pick either one. Um, hitting create your own will take you to the same spot for um, steps, running, or biking. Um, and then you'll set the frequency. So if you wanted to see it every day, every week, or every month, you can keep track of it in different ways. So in my case, I want to keep track of it on a daily basis and I want to do 10,000 steps. And so I'll hit done. So now I have a goal set up um, and it'll tell me that I have five hours and 40 minutes to take the rest of my steps. So I have another just about 9,048 uh, more steps. So I'm not going to make the goal for today, but um, it is still a good average goal depending on the day. I did a lot more sitting than usual, so I want to make I'll make it up tomorrow. But from here, now that I've set that goal, I'll go back to my home screen, and you'll go to um, wherever you need to go to add a widget. In this, in my case, I long press on the home screen and select widgets, and I'll scroll down and go to Fit Google Fit, and I'll drag it to my home screen, and then you'll see any goals you've created. So if you have multiple goals, you can create the specific goal for that that you want your widget to show. In this case, I want to see the number of steps that I've taken for the day, and I have my widget, and then it's a resizable widget as well. So if I just want to see it on the side here, I can do that. It'll tell me 952 steps is the number of steps I've taken. It'll show me the nice progress bar um, around or in the circle so in this case the uh, magenta purple hue over the white and a nice summary that tells me to take 10,000 steps so I have that um, nice little goal to or a nice little summary that okay well I've taken this many steps and I have this many more to go um, and then it's easy to do more so let's say I want to create another goal um, for uh, let's say active for 30 minutes uh, or uh, let's say a customized goal so I want to um, do a goal for let's say I need I need to walk at least an hour every day so I'll pick walking or sorry not at walking but I'll, let's go back to this menu and I want to do active time and I want to do have an active time every day of 60 minutes just a generic amount nothing fancy nothing too strenuous or anything difficult and so now I'll go back to creating a widget and I'll go back to or I'll go into fit. So let's let's create that. And now I'll see I see walking 60 minutes a day. So I'll pick that. And so far I've done um, eight minutes of walking. So I can put those two um, side by side or wherever I want. So that way I can now keep track that way that, OK, I walked eight minutes. I still need to do. Uh, 52 minutes, I, the 952 steps, I still need to do about 9,000. So just a couple of different ways of looking at the same data. Um, the old Google Fit widget only showed the number of minutes, so this is definitely a welcome addition. The old widget was also a solid white um, circle and the number of minutes. This is a transparent widget, so the UI has also updated um, a bit nicely as well. So 
um, it looks a little bit better and cleaner. So in this case, I'm going to delete the time goal and just keep steps. And then you can also, it also has a nice summary as well. So you can see daily that um, how much you've done. And also uh, recent activity. So when my last longest run was, the furthest run, my weight, and all of that good stuff. So um, a lot of new summaries and a pretty good update as far as this most recent update goes. Mm -hmm. So that's Google Fit in the Google Play Store. It's available for free via, um, uh, or it's from Google themselves. And all it does is it uses your device's sensor. So it knows when, you're, when the device is in your pocket that um, it can keep track of the number of steps you take. So throughout the day, it will keep track of it as long as it's in your pocket. And then also over time, it will learn that the average amount of time you walk. So let's say over the course of a few weeks or a month, it learns that you generally walk about 90 minutes or 70 minutes or 120 minutes. It'll take the average of that time and say, okay, well, let's set your goal to something a little bit more than 60 minutes let's say we let's say your goal to 90 minutes instead because it realizes that sometimes you walk an hour sometimes you walk two hours or you walk more on the weekends than the, during the week so it averages that out and says okay let's set your goal to a little bit higher so you might be able to do a little bit more than usual so let's keep track of it that way um and then you can always adjust and say no i always want it to be 60 minutes or no let's just keep or yeah let's update update it or to 90 minutes or Let's set it to two hours and see if I can adjust or fit in that um, higher goal. Um, so that's all there is for this particular feature review. Nothing too new or different, just an additional way of look or a new way of looking at similar data, data that was always there. And you don't have to open up the app manually. You can get the data now on your Android home screen. So that's all for, there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, want to see anything else, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or uh, find me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.